Hello and welcome, I'm at uh, Stuttgart uh, CMT Trade Fair, which is the second largest uh, event for motorhomes and uh, camper vans in uh, Europe, uh, held every year in the third week of January. Let's have a look at some uh, Benimar vans here, have a quick walk around, T463 uh, Benimar van, for something like this, 743,000, sorry, 743 centimetres, 78,000 euros, thereabouts. Comes with a drop down bed over this uh, area, corner kitchen, and in the back we have got this uh, bed layout. There's your toilet. That's not a toilet, that's a shower, sorry, the toilet's on the other side. I'm always getting them mixed up, that's why I only get invited to people's houses once. And uh, storage under the bed, of course. I've got nice steps uh, to get up into bed. I quite like this. Uh, it's quite uh, quite neat, I think. But of course, if you've got the German bed layout out, this will come out. And you won't be able to get use the steps. And if you do that, then this thing here will go in there like that to give you a much bigger bed. That, of course, sits in this thing down there. Let's go and have a look at another vehicle, Benimar is a cheaper brand despite the price although because of costs which uh, started in 2020 above all then what we've seen is uh, the differential between cheap vehicles and more expensive ones has been somewhat removed 72 and a half thousand it's a six meter van i've got a friend's got one of these uh tomek you might be watching this video so you might want to actually say something uh the big table bed drops down I mean huge amount of space here over here corner kitchen it's a very big kitchen and it's got a large washroom as well the price for all this with two drainage points the price for all of this though is that the storage isn't very good your garage uh, is really small there is the uh, um, what do you call that uh, wardrobe and down here we've got some more storage but that is your garage. You've also got access there from the outside, which I shall show by walking to it. Let's have a walk around. That's the T481 and the, uh, there you can see uh, the garage there. It's this thing, let's see if it's opened. If it's open, I'll open it. If it's not, I can't. Yeah, that one's open. Is this one open? Well, it seems to be open. Yeah, there you go, so there's your garage. Then again, you know, it's got a really small footprint. It's got a very big washroom and it's got a very big salon. Uh, so from that point of view, that's, that's what you get. T430 uh, for this uh, side bed motorhome, 66,000 euros. It is six meters uh, in length. In fact, it's 596 centimeters uh, in length side bed over here bear in mind not much of a storage outside as well large washroom uh kitchen rather standard two burners sink and one thing that stands out for me though here is the height lots of height in this vehicle and also it makes sense to put the uh wardrobe over the bed uh, and because of the height, I think it's given lots of storage in here, um, which is which is interesting. Let's have a look at this one here. Oh, I see even there, a bit of storage. That is on this chair. The point of which I think is to take your take your shoes off as you come in. That's why I think I might be wrong. Uh, okay, um, do we have here? Uh, you see though. Not much in the way of st uh, storage. I'll open this uh, up. We'll have a look. Oh, I thought it was up. Let's see, that is under the bed. I should say not much. I was probably a bit unfair on that. But as far as uh, side bed storage, that go, that's quite good. You've also got this, uh, the door here, which we can't e access because of the position of the vehicles being parked next to it. But. Uh, it's not, I mean, I suppose that's not too bad at all. Also, you can lift the bed up as well, so you can get access to this part from the inside. 
Uh, okay, here we have one based on the Ford uh, platform, uh, which is very light, easy to drive in my opinion. This is the uh, Y861 y and this comes at a cost of 71,260, 669 centimeters in length. And I have to say it's priced to go uh, in the current market. Uh, very large bed, which can be made even bigger thanks to the insertion of this unit down here and a bed there, storage under the bed either side, large washroom. And here we have the A Amphitryon 967, which is top of the range, I think, for Benimar. This thing is going to cost uh, nearly 100,000 euros. It's fully integrated, 737 centimeters long. Uh, got the bed up there. It does look quite elegant, which actually, uh, the thing is, it's still a Benimar, even though it does look elegant. And um, it's definitely competing with, for example, Adria uh, in this range, and it's considerably cheaper than the equivalent Adria. I wouldn't say it was as good though. Uh, but yeah, very nice, very nice looking uh, vehicle inside. So the design is quite good. You've got a drop down bed there over the front as well. Uh, And here, M261, it's uh, 72,300, a 7-meter um, motorhome, bed at the top, which will drop down, uh, kitchen over here. We have got a uh, fridge uh, with a pull-out thing at the bottom, the bottles and this German layout at the back drawers on one side and on the other side down here we have got a wardrobe as well and i believe that this can no it can't doesn't oh no sorry it's the bed which no the bed doesn't come up you can see from inside oh, the whole thing came up no it doesn't i can see it doesn't sorry anyway so you can't lift the uh, thing up like that <laughs> storage at the back Lots of headroom in this vehicle and um, uh, elegant washroom. I've got to say the M uh, here, Benimar, is looking much more elegant than it, uh, it used to do. Really, uh, I think from that point it's upped its game, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is how well it works in practice. Uh, right, so we've got an overhead model here, the Sports 346, cost 70,000 euros, 711 centimetres long. Uh, I don't know why it's called Sport, maybe it's just the Sport here, see how many people can fit in. You get two up there, you get two there. Uh, they've taken these off because people pinch them. Uh, and you can get two in the back as well. So you can get six in here. I think the sport is how many more you can get in. Big wardrobe here. Uh, fridge. With freezer. And washroom here. Now the, uh, ov the overcab models are... Um, uh, they, take, they, they burn more. Um, I don't know why, but they tend to be cheaper. Uh, I was once told it's, it's, it's easy to produce something like this, and I kept, got that from a factory. I, I really don't understand that, but anyway, uh, if, the, if that's the case, then that's the case. Storage, as you'd expect, under the... Um, no. Oh, and this is the, the tune for the CMT, so let's listen to it.
So, well, thanks for watching. Uh, that gave me a chance to actually take you around the hall and see uh, what else is here. And I've just shown you a fraction here of hall number one uh, with some of these, uh, the, these vehicles. Um, they've got a few caravans as well, uh, but there are, there's 10 halls here. Two of them are destinations, but one and a half more or less is equipment. So the rest is uh, six and a half holes of uh, motorhomes and uh, camper vans, caravans, mini caravans. Oh, here's something really odd. That <laughs> very unusual uh, shape. Right, so I want to come back and have a look at this one a bit later, maybe. So that gives you an idea of what you can see. Uh -huh. Well, some, somebody was happier about something. And, uh, oh, I was just gonna mention this here, this Venture S, which is down here, a quarter of a million euros. I had a chance of actually uh, getting in one and using it. And I've got to say that, uh, I mean, it, it looks quite good, but it's a complete misunderstanding. I mean, some dreadful design faults in it. Uh, and uh, the the technology though used in that uh, tent in the roof is is outstanding. So I do believe in that very much. And also, you can see the uh, technology is used in this thing here. For example, the burst in the gallery. Uh, the company Exclu uh, is. Um, I don't think uh, Heimer Group's got a um, sole use of it. So definitely, from that point of view, that that that's a major step forward in uh, my opinion oh these are Ariba car oh, they're looking uh, at something first time I've seen this one and so Heimer uh, Ariba is, is, is a caravan brand of Heimers but uh, the uh, look to it is really quite uh, outstanding I think in my, in my opinion obviously it depends uh, what you're interested in and what you want so uh, I'll take you back down to uh, Benny Mar because obviously it's a film about Benny Mar vans and the, the Benny Mar range uh, part of which is here so it's the Benny Mar motorhome range I didn't show you any camper vans but uh, so we're back here now I'll have to do some live chats on things like the uh, costs uh, at the moment what's like to happen to pricing so I upload every um, day at 2115 that's my time I'm based in Poland and Germany so it's like 2015 if you're in the UK and if you're in Los Angeles it's about nine hours difference I think uh, so uh, all the best for me in Stuttgart thanks very much for watching and bye for now